Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of equations by graphing method. To get a complete understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for another practice problem. So before we start graphing this system of equations, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to give these equations different colors. And here you can see that the top equation I gave it a blue color and the bottom equation I gave it a red color. And here is going to be our action plan or our strategy. In order to keep things simple, we are going to graph each equation individually. That is, we are going to make blue and red graphs separately. That means, and then finally, we're going to put them together. In other words, we're going to superimpose these two graphs. So let's get started with our graphing process. We are going to focus on our blue equation, the top one. I just put it down over here and I'm going to show you how we're going to graph this thing. The very first step is in order to graph this blue equation, let me show you a simple way of doing this thing. Right now I want you to do the t-chart and I want you to put down x right up here and y here and this is what we are going to do first i am going to put x equal to zero value and see how much y is going to be so wherever you see x this simply become zero so let's simplify now so this is going to simply become two times zero minus y equals to four two times zero is zero minus y equals to 4 so negative y equals to 4 and if you switch this y sign so y is going to be simply negative 4 so that means y value turns out to be negative 4 and in the next step this time i'm going to put down y equal to 0 value and see what x turns out to be so wherever we see y we're going to replace it by 0 so let's simplify 2x minus y becomes 0 equals to 4 so that is going to become 2x equal to 4 divide both sides by 2 x turns out to be equal to 2 so that means x value is 2 so thus we got two points the first point is 0 comma negative 4 the second point is 2 comma 0 let me put down these points right up here these ordered pairs 0 comma negative 4 and the other point is 2 comma 0 and here is our Cartesian plane and we are going to plot these two points 0, negative 4 and 2, 0. First I am going to plot 0, negative 4 is going to be right up here. The other point is 2, 0 is going to be right up here so these are two points and as you can see that this point is on x-axis no wonder we're going to call it x-intercept and this point is on y-axis we're going to call it y-intercept and here i have nicely plotted them up so this first this point is two zero and this one is zero negative in the next step, we are going to connect these two points to get our graph. And finally, here is our graph, the blue graph that is 2x minus y equals to 4. And now let's focus on the red equation and I put it down right up here, x plus 3y equals to 9. And now we are going to graph this one. So the easiest possible way is once again, we are going to create a t-chart. I'm going to put down x over here, y over here. And first I want to pick x value 0. 
if I pick x value 0, wherever you see x replace it by 0, let's simplify. So this is going to become 0 plus 3y equal to 9. So that is 3y equal to 9 divide both sides by 3y turns out to be 3. So that means y equal to 3. So if x is 0, y is going to be 3. And in the next step, this time I am going to pick y as 0 and see what x value we're going to get. So wherever you see y, replace it by 0. Let's simplify that thing. So this becomes x plus 3 times 0 equals to 9. So x and 3 times 0 is 0 equal to 9. So that means x turns out to be 9. So that means our x value is going to be 9 and y value is going to be 0. So thus we got two points. The first point is 0 comma 3. The second point is 9 comma 0. And I am going to write down somewhere here. The first point is 0 comma 3. And the second point is 9 comma 0. Now we're going to plot these points next. And here is our Cartesian plane and we are going to plot these two points. So the first one is 0, 3. So 0, 3 is going to be somewhere here. As you can see, the next point is 9, 0 is going to be right here, as you can see. Once again, make sure that this point is on x-axis. No wonder we're going to call it x-intercepts. That this point is on y-axis, we're going to call it y-intercept. And here I have nicely plotted these points and gave them a name, 9, 0 and 0, 3 as their location. The next we are going to connect these two points to get a graph straight line graph. And here is the graph for this red equation x plus 3y equal to 9. And here is our final product. So on the left hand side you see these two graphs. These are individual graphs blue and red. And now I have put them together, super, superimpose them. And where you see this point 3, 2, that is the point of intersection of these two lines and that is our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be a 3 comma 2 where 3 is our x value and 2 is our y value in the x y coordinates. And finally here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own now? You can take your time, you can pause the video Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. You can go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.